21. 4 subtract 1.15. Now, there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could pretend it's money, and you could think of £4 subtract £1.15. Well, if you were doing that, you'd take the £1 off first. So £4 take away £1 would be £3, and then take your 15 pence off. Well, 15 pence off the three pounds would take you down to two pounds 85. So it looks as though the answer is going to be 2.85. Obviously, we don't need the pound sign because the original question is not in pound. So two pound 85, 2.85. If you didn't want to do it mentally and you were struggling with that, you could do a written method. But remember, four is the same as 4.00. Now, the reason why we're saying that is because that this number here, 1.15, has got two digits after the decimal point. So to make the 4 have two digits after the decimal point, well, there is no decimal point to begin with. So you'd have to put a point in after the 4 and then put two zeros to make it have two digits after the decimal point. Now you could do this. So 4.00 subtract 1.15. So here we go. 0 take away 5 you can't do so you need to borrow from this 0 but you can't borrow from this 0 so you've got to borrow from the 4 so if we borrow from the 4 that becomes a 3 and the one we borrowed makes this 0 into a 10 then cross out the 10 and that becomes 9 and the one you borrowed makes this 0 into a 10 now we can do it so 10 take away 5 is 5 9 take away 1 is 8, and 3 take away 1 is 2. So your final answer is 2.85, which is exactly what we got here. There is even a third way of doing it. If you're not comfortable with um, borrowing across several columns like this when you've got lots of zeros at the top, what you could actually do is make both um, numbers one less. So 4.00 you could call 3.99 and 1.15 you could call 1.14 and if you make both of them 0 0.01 less it would actually give you the same answer so 9 take away 4 is 5 9 take away 1 is 8 and 3 take away 1 is 2 but this only works because you've made both of them 0.01 less.